be follow our Instagram. Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make this zebra print with the pastel glitter background. I have already prepped my tumbler and painted it with blushing beige. And I am also using Crafty's new pastel glitters. And if you guys are interested to get it, you can get it on Crafty's website. I will link it down in the description box down below. I'm using Helios Glue by Wilson & Brown Supplies as my adhesive. As usual, I like to pour out a little bit of the Helios Glue onto my muffin cup and I am only using thin coats of the Helios Glue. And then after applying the glue, immediately sprinkle your glitters. I am starting off with the first glitter which is called Sakura. And that is the lightest pink. And then moving on to the second glitter called Orchid. And this is like a slightly darker pink. Moving on with Apricot, Lemon, Taro, Snowflake, Mint, and last but not least, Melon. After which, I let it rest for 30 minutes before brushing out the excess glitter. And then, because it was a little bit too light due to the fact that my background was not the same colour as my glitter, I decided to do a second round of glittering. This is optional, but I just wanted it to be more visible. I am repeating my steps with Helios glue and then continuing with the glitter. So if you guys want a more vibrant colour, then I suggest that you use the same base colour as the glitter that you are using. 30 minutes in, brush off all the excess glitter and then I smoosh the glitters before sealing it with Hyperion sealant. So this is my first coat of Hyperion. After that, let it rest for 2 hours my second coat of Hyperion and then let it rest for 2 hours my third coat of Hyperion and then let it rest for 2 hours and then I sand down lightly this is my fourth coat of Hyperion and because it was already quite smooth I decided to put on my vinyl and I am using a Zebra SVG for this one I am using Cricut textured gold vinyl if I'm not mistaken. I will link it down in the description below. And then because I didn't quite like the seams and I also trimmed the top and the bottom of the vinyl so that it looks neater. And this is how the seam actually looked like. I didn't quite like it so I decided to hand cut it with my Cricut scissors and this is how it looks like and then i suggest sealing your vinyls with helios glue before putting on your fifth coat of hyperion and then onto my sixth coat of hyperion i believe i did sand down and then i did a couple more coats of hyperion but this is the end result and it is it is so fast to do this tumbler and if you guys like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also if you have any comments don't be afraid to drop it in the comment section i will try my best to respond to you bye